this week. We've got some tickets to give away to the premiere, uh, some T-shirts. Uh, tell me about the premiere. Tell me about your end of this, Todd. You're, now, you, you produced this movie? I was one of the producers. Uh, we had uh, James Settle, Kathleen Boback were the directors of the film, and um, also they were producers. And then I came on board and started helping with marketing and uh, production of the film as well. And uh, had been working with Cliff um, on other projects in the past, and um, uh, things kind of evolved, and we contacted Cliff and, um, you know, tried to uh, incorporate music and, um, and artists into the soundtrack because we're an independent film, and we needed an edge to get some exposure for the film because we're not a major um, production house. You know, we're not, you know, Warner Brothers. So getting, uh, getting artists in and their fan base has really helped uh, generate a buzz with our um, with our uh, movie, and and that buzz has continued on. Now we're going into uh, different towns, different states, and we're doing premieres like we're doing at the Duntire Speedway, and uh, we're bringing the whole crew with us. I mean, we were just in Tennessee at the White Lightning Festival, and we had um, we had we brought in some of the cars from the movies. Uh, we brought in Gary Lou Allen, uh, Bill Blair, they're the sons of who the movie's about, and Gary Lou Allen. It was his vision to do this get, movie. Get into a little bit of the movie. Just, get, uh, just real briefly, tell us, what when we go see Red Dirt Rising, what are we seeing the story of? What, what is it going to be? Well, what you're looking at is, you know, uh, a lot of people believe NASCAR formed and racing began. And, and it really, racing was, uh, well, as soon as the cars started rolling, people were competing. But stock car racing had been around for a long time prior to NASCAR forming in 47. And so this movie really just kind of takes you back in time and lets you see what it was like for some of these first families and what they were willing to sacrifice and how they lived and how moonshine was integrated into it and how it evolved out of moonshine. So it's, um, you know, it's, uh, I guess, as James Suttle says, it's a slice of life of uh, what it was like back then. Very interesting. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good time. And uh, like I say, my band's going to be playing there, which is, that's going to be fun just in and of itself. Uh, and you have some other, there's going to be some, uh, is Janet going to perform? I think Janet's going to perform yep. there too, right? Yeah. Yep, Janet's going to come in. Of course, we've got your great band coming in there, so we're excited for that, too. But Janet's coming in, Cliff's coming in, um, your band. We're also going to have a cruising car show, and uh, and then it's going to, it's uh, you know, there's entry fees that are going in there, and it's going to be pretty cool there because we have um, some special trophies that are going to be given out uh, to the different cars, and Gary Lou Allen's going to be one of the judges, and uh, they've got some other special guests that are going to all go out and kind of judge the cars, but... Um, two of the trophies that are going to be given out are a real piece of history. Um, I'm fortunate enough to uh, say that I work on the marketing group uh, with North Wilkesboro Speedway, and that's where Junior Johnson has um, kind of um, cut his teeth into racing. And we recovered some of the Junior Johnson grandstands, and we've retooled uh, them or repurposed them into art or trophies. And so people are going to get a piece of the Junior Johnson grandstand, uh, or two of the winners will anyway, so... So we're, we're bringing some NASCAR history with us. And there's only 10 of these trophies that exist in the world right now. And we gave out um, four of them at the NASCAR, at our uh, world premiere at North Wilkes Rural Speedway. And then we're bringing these two up to y'all. So uh, That's there's fantastic. a couple more that we're giving out to some private guests, including Junior Johnson. We gave him one. So. That's Very cool. That's fantastic. So this is all taking place uh, next week, Saturday, the 24th. Yep. And it yep. starts at around 6 p.m.? When does it start? Yeah, um, you know what? Uh, the car show's earlier than that, and then, um, you know, the movie, we really can't start the movie until dusk, so we're going to have the concert going on uh, around 7.30. But it's going to have a drive-in movie feel, which that's that's really cool. Oh, yeah. You get to go out on the track, which is pretty cool. You know, not everybody gets to go out on the other side of the fence, but we're going to set it up where, you know, it's more of a gathering, and everybody gets to interact and, you know, meet everybody. So that's always uh, it's fun to have kind of a open feel about it. Well, that's fantastic, and we're looking forward to seeing the movie premiere of Red Dirt Rising. And as I said, we have tickets to give away. Um, the the movie the the folks from the movie were very nice enough to give us some tickets to give away. If you come to the Music Exchange, oh yeah, Teresa Riley. She is um, she is your local. She's the one that's put this whole program together up there, and she has absolutely done a fantastic job um, pulling this all together, along with Ralph, who owns the. Uh, the speedway we really appreciate them uh inviting us up and asking us to be a part of it but there's it's been a big collaborative effort people like yourself helping out so um we're looking forward to meeting everybody although i've already been up there and it's beautiful yeah it's, it's a great time of year to be up here it's 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 really it's a really 
pretty time up here right now. Uh, and it's been hot, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you, Todd, and thank you, Cliff. Looking forward to seeing you next week. Hi, guys. All right, we'll be there. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye. We're going to head to a commercial break. And on the other side of the break, we're going to be talking to Carl Paladino, who's going to save our state so Josh doesn't have to move. Please save us. <laughs> Stick around, folks. Where are they at?